Hi, this is John with SysEng Quick. Today I'm going to show you how to set up port forwarding using port address translation and IP tables. This will allow you to reach a service running on a machine behind the firewall by connecting through the firewall. We have our Debian machine set up as the firewall and I've configured a CentOS machine on the same LAN. I'd like to be able to SSH into the CentOS box, but the local LAN isn't reachable from my desktop. To fix this, we'll use port address translation. The first thing we're going to need is a destination NAT or DNAT rule in the pre-routing chain of the NAT table. This is going to redirect our packet before a routing decision is made. To set up one of those, we'll use IP tables. The table is NAT. The chain is pre-routing. We're going to use the protocol TCP. The destination port 22, however, it doesn't have to be the same port that the service is running on. This is the port you're going to forward on the firewall. So it can actually be almost any port you want. But for now, I'm going to leave it the same. We'll add a comment, SSH pat to CentOS. Now we're going to give it a destination. This is the IP on the firewall that you want to translate. If you only have one IP address, you don't need to add this. But I've added a second one because there's already an SSH server running on this Debian box. I can't forward that port and have SSH traffic going to Debian at the same time. All right, now we just have to go to the target, which is DNAT, and specify the destination. The internal IP of the CentOS 7 box is 172.16.1.102. Now that we've got that rule, we can go back to the filter table, because in addition to making this NAT rule or PAT rule, we're going to have to allow traffic through the firewall, because it's being forwarded. So. If we look at the IP tables thing, all we need to do is add a rule that allows traffic into the CentOS machine. So, IP tables, append to the forward chain, it's protocol TCP, destination port 22. The destination is going to be 172.16.1.102. We're going to accept this traffic and add a quick comment. All right, so now we've got both our PAT rule and our allow traffic rule. So if we look at our NAT rule, we're saying anything coming in to the firewall on this IP destined for TCP port 22 is going to end up at 172.16.1.102. Because there's no additional port specifier, it's going to be the same one that's specified here. And our forward rule, we are accepting TCP traffic destined for this on TCP port 22. And that's in the forward chain, so we know it's going to be forwarded through the firewall. So let's see if we can SSH into that IP address now. 192.168.5.201. and there I am in the CentOS machine. And that's how you set up port address translation with IP tables. Thanks for watching. See you next time.